makes the difference between a great base runner and just a good base runner, right? It's all about this drop step. We're using this drop step to create that proper shin angle here so that we can get that good solid extension with this back leg and get into this flexion phase so we can create that proper strike cycle. This is what carries guys on to the next level to keep playing in college and even beyond that professional baseball. And it really comes down to this, right? It comes down to using that same kind of uh, drop step, get into that flexion phase so we can create this, the proper stride cycle, right? So when we're in our acceleration phase, we wanna keep this shin angle <clears throat> at this position where our knee is in front of our toe because that means we're pushing ourselves forward. But then once we get to top speed, it's all about keeping uh, a, a shin angle that's more um, 90 degrees because once we're at 90 once we're at top speed there is no getting faster and that's a huge piece of information that people forget and it's very you know common knowledge but once we get to that top speed there is no getting faster so then all we're trying to do is maintain that top speed as efficiently as possible because if we're running in a direction right <clears throat> Either what we're doing is helping us effectively carry that momentum forward or it's holding us back, right? If we're coming across our body with our strides and with our, with our arms, we're holding ourselves back. We wanna be efficient, we wanna be moving straight up and down. And the same goes with our lower body, right? <clears throat> Our stride cycle is either keeping us, moving us forward as efficiently as possible, or it's holding us back. So learn from my speed program, learn what the most effective and efficient way is to <clears throat> run 60s, to steal bases, and it'll completely change your profile as a college recruit.